What's going on guys? We're back here today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we have the ninth pick in a 12 team points league. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. Jokic, Giannis, Luka, Embiid, KD, Tatum, Harden, and LaMelo are the guys to go before us. We built around LeBron. I kind of want to build around Steph Curry. Uh, possibly Trey Young next pick. Um, John Morant's also a great selection here. But let's try our luck with Steph Curry, build around him, and see how it goes. There goes Ja, LeBron, Cat, Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, and Trey Young. Which is perfect because I actually really wanted Tyrese Halliburton here. I think he's in line for a huge year this year in Indiana. He played amazing at the end of last year. And I think he's just going to continue doing what he's doing. And if Buddy Heald and um, Miles Turner do get traded, that's even more points, assists. Well, more points, rebounds, steals, and everything for Tyrese Halliburton. Assists might take a little bit of a hit. But when he's doing so much of everything else, uh, I really like Tyrese. So let's go Tyrese. There goes Booker, Bam, Sabonis, Zion, Pascal, DeRozan, AD, Kyrie, Paul George, Shea, Kate Cunningham, Anthony Edwards, Rudy Gobert, DeJounte Murray, Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard. Couple options here. There's Vucevic, Fox, Darius Garland, Van Fleet, Evan Mobley, DeAndre Ayton, Porzingis. So many good options right here. I'm actually going to go Vucevic here. Lock down our center position really early. Oh, and 40 fantasy points is really really good uh, especially coming from basically a third option in chicago behind DeRozan and levine um, i really really like that plus locking down our center so early in a tough draft i i love that so let's go vucevic there goes garland mobley randall fox allen and butler would have wished if any of these three fell to us i would have been happy but we still have van fleet here was probably the best pickup. Jalen Brown's solid as well. Porzingis, solid. Ingram could see a little bit ticked down with Zion back and looking crazy good. Uh, Jakob is here. Terry Rozier is here. We're going to go Van Fleet. The steals, uh, the threes are just ridiculous coming from him. Really solid pickup, I think, this year. Scotty Barnes, Jalen Brown, Terry Rozier, Porzingis, Brunson, DeAndre Ayton, Chris Paul, Ingram, Capella, Drew Holiday, Zach Levine, CJ McCollum, Wood, Sangoon, Middleton, and Valanchunas round out the rest of the team. A couple of options here. We could grab Ben Simmons, 38 points projected. Jacopato is also another great selection. Uh, Nurkic as well. Paolo Banchero could do really good. Miles Turner with the blocks. However, we do have Halliburton, so let's kind of avoid Miles Turner. Uh, Keldon Johnson's a solid pick. I think we're going Ben Simmons here. I love Ben Simmons. I love Giddy this year. Uh, it is another point guard. Hopefully he gets the center designation or even power forward. I think he would be a hell of a steal in categories leagues if he can be. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go Ben Simmons here. There goes Pottle, Giddy, Westbrook, Tobias Harris, Paolo Benchero, and Miles Turner. So Nurkic is here. Kellen Johnson is here. Desmond Bain is here. RJ Barrett is here. Really good pickups here. John Collins, Wendell Carter. Uh, I actually like Desmond Bain the most here, I think. Um, playing next to John Morant. He had a great year last year. I think he's in line for an even better year. Great three-point shooter. Good defender. Gets a couple of rebounds and assists as well. He's going to play amazing next to Ja. Looking at our team, though, we do have a couple of guards now. So, Bane would be like our fifth guard. Uh, so, maybe we could grab someone like uh, Keldon Johnson. Nurkic definitely won't make it past this round. Uh, but we could grab someone like RJ Barrett as well on the swing back. So, let's grab Desmond Bane. There goes Colin, Nurkic, Green, Murray, Wiggins, Bobby Portis, who shouldn't be going this early, Jaron Jackson, Colin Sexton, Jeremy Grant, Wendell Carter, Brandon Clark, Draymond, Pukasevsky, Keldon Johnson, Robert Williams, Mitch Robinson. Falls in line perfectly for us to draft someone like RJ Barrett. I think finally time for New York to give him the reins. Um, the Randall thing, it didn't really work out last year. He was more of a detriment to the team. Unless Randall can kind of get into the mentality that um, it's not really gonna work with him being the alpha i think it's time for him to play like more team basketball i think randall could actually become a very good player this year if he does buy in but let's go with rj barrett here there goes pj washington zubak michael porter rashawn holmes al horford chris boucher solid options here in d uh 36 points a game og on anunby is another solid one we do have van fleet so maybe we may not pick him up um kuzma steven adams Vassell and Tyler Harrell. I think D'Lo is 
far and away the best player here to draft. So we're going to grab him. There goes Jalen Smith, Steven Adams, Kelly Olynyk, Malcolm Brogdon, Drummond, who should not be getting drafted this early. Buddy Heal, Claxton, Jalen Duren, Walker Kessler, McGee, Montrez Harrell, Klay Thompson, Lonzo Ball, Sadiq Bey, Okongwu, and James Wiseman. OG's here, Kyle Kuzma's here, Maxi Harrell as well. Looking at our team, I think we need some forwards. Yeah, we do need some power forwards and forwards. We do have so many guards, so I think we're okay in that department. I do want Kuzma. I, I like OG as well. However, Kuzma can play both small forward and power forward. So I am going to grab him for that reason. We also do have Van Fleet, so maybe I don't want to grab OG too high up. So there goes Mo Bamba, Stewart, Karis LeVert, Thad Young. Shouldn't even be getting drafted in my opinion. Tyrese Maxey, Jonathan Kuminga. Now, we could now grab OG on a noon B just because he's still available. It would be a steal at this point. Uh, Tyler Harrow is also solid, but we do have so many guards. I want to grab OG here. There goes Brooke Lopez, Isaiah Jackson, Mason Plumley, Marvin Bagley, Kevin Love, Keegan Murray, Gordon Hayward, Dinwiddie, Kevin Porter Jr., Tyler Harrow, Jordan Poole, Dem Vassell, Marcus Smart, Jabari Smith, Cole Anthony, and Franz Wagner. Really like Franz Wagner this year. Just barely missed out on him. Mikael Bridges is a solid option here. And Franny Simons haven't gotten a drop. But 19 points a game, 3 rebounds, almost 4 assists, 3.33s, which is amazing. I think we might actually go Anthony Simons. Haven't had the chance to draft him yet. Let's see what the team looks like with him on it. There goes Josh Hart, Kyle Lowry, Daniel Tice, Derek White, Gary Trent, Jalen Suggs. I see Mikhail Bridges still here. Laurie Markinen as well. Dylan Brooks is here. Conley, Trey Jones, all solid pickups. We have so many guards. I really want to get a small forward power forward like Laurie Markinen or Mikhail Bridges here. I think I'm going to go Markinen just because he can play both positions. Um, maybe on the swing back. I doubt Mikhail Bridges will make it into the last round. But on the swing back, we could grab someone like Bogdan Bogdanovich, Dortz, Barnes. Really round out the rest of our team. Or Baisley. Really round out the rest of our team. So let's go Laurie Markinen. I think he's in line for a big year in Utah. Being probably the number two, three option over there. So let's go Laurie. There goes Trey Jones, Clarkson, Morris, Kemba Walker, who's a free agent. Jaden Ivey, Mikhail Bridges. Dylan Brooks, Powell, Harrison Barnes, Mike Conley, John Wall, Kelly Oubre, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Chris Dorte, Dosumu, and Herb Jones. Lines is up to grab someone like Aaron Gordon, Daniel Gaffer, Lugan Dort, Darius Baisley, Markel Fultz. Not, I wouldn't draft Fultz right now. Um, Jay Sean Tate, Rich Jackson. Aaron Gordon is probably the best bet here. I do think he's in line for a little bit of a decline with Michael Porter there and Jamal Murray coming back. But definitely the best option I think available. Lu you can make an argument for Lugans Darts and Darius Baisley. Uh, I wouldn't take Barton this time because I think he's coming off the bench in Washington. I don't know if Gafford is. No, Porzingis is starting. So that's another thing. Dorian Finney-Smith is okay. But he's not really an amazing rebounder. He's better in real life than he is in fantasy. So we're going to go Aaron Gordon. See how the team looks afterwards. There goes Malik Beasley, Will Barton, and Evan Fournier. Got to be on the draft. Steph Curry, Halliburton, Fred Van Fleet, RJ Barrett, Kuzma, OG, Vucevic, Ben Simmons, Desmond Bain, D'Lo, Simons, Laurie Markkinen, and Aaron Gordon make up the team. I think it's a pretty solid draft. I do like Steph Curry, Halliburton. Could have went a different way instead of Vucevic here. Maybe grab like Garland. Um, but we would have been struggling for a center late into the game. I think Vucevic is our only center on the team, which probably really hurts us. That's probably why we got such a low grade. Uh, a lot of the big men go so early on, you really have to strike early for them. And a lot of the guards end up falling for that reason. But overall, solid draft. Uh, let me know how you guys would handle it differently. Did you guys think I reached for a couple players too early? Would you pick someone else um, instead of uh, one of the guys I pick? Let me know down below. Please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.